Okay. Before going to drafting, you have to create a 3D component like this. After that, you have to just save a component at your required locations. Then we are going to drafting the component. So go to the file, click save for a component. Then we have to open the new drafting sheet by click the drawing, click OK. Here we have a standard sheet sizes. You can use a standard sheet sizes based upon your requirement or otherwise you also use a custom sheet sizes. I have used a standard sheet size and then click OK. After that you have to just browse the component which we create previously in a pot. This is a component which we create in a pot modeling. So just click open. Now you have to just pick a specified location for a projection of views. You can just drag the mouse cursor for a corresponding views. After that we have to increase the size of the each view in a drawing sheet. So just select a corresponding view and go to the dialog box. Just click here. Display style based upon your requirement. And also use a custom scale for increase in size of view. Just select a corresponding scale or a model view. Just drag the component for move the specified location. After that we are going to use a section view here. So select a section view and specify the cutting line. Then click OK. Just drag the section view and place it at a required location based upon your requirement. The section view is successfully generated here. Then we are going to apply the dimensions based upon your requirement. So for applying the dimensions, we have to go for annotations here. So select the annotation and click the small dimension. The dimensions can be applied automatically or manually based upon your need. Here we are going to apply the dimensions automatically. So select the automate dimension tab and just click apply for a specified selected view. Now in a specified view we have generated the automatic dimensions. We have to just apply. The automatic dimensions will be generated here or otherwise you can be generate the dimensions manually by selecting the specified entities. Just click the small dimensions. Just click diamond expert tab and specify the corresponding entities. The dimensions will be generated manually based upon your need. After applying the required dimensions, you have to just click OK. You can also change the size of the dimensions. Size defines the font size. Just click the use define document fan and just click a font. You have to change the units of font. Why we are changing the units of font? The height of the dimensions will be changed automatically. After changing the font, you have to just click OK in the dimension tab. Now the dimensions for a 68 is automatically changed here. Okay. 